Welcome back to another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. My name is Mark Zimmerman. I'm a visiting artist virtually at Sanford Clinic um, through the Sanford Arts Program. Um, I'm going to do an ink transfer drawing here. I just rolled I just rolled uh, a thin, thin layer of ink on a sheet of plexiglass. I've got some templates there in tape. I'll drop a piece of paper on here. And tape it down. Don't want it moving. If it moves, I get smudge marks. It is, after all, face down on some ink. That ink is inside some tape, and I can feel that tape with this pen. There's the corner. And drag it along the edge of the tape. I can't actually draw a straight line without a ruler. But I can, oh, I must be past the tape there. Yeah by a good half inch. Okay. So, uh, let's, let's start this drawing right up here. I'm looking at a photograph, so I'm not just making stuff up here. I'm looking at a photograph. Looking at a photograph of a cow. Oh, she's got a tag in her ear. I'm going to leave that out. There's an ear. She got a tag in this ear too. <laughs> I guess we know who she is. Oh, she's got big brown eyes, or big black eyes. Shh. See if I can leave just a little spot. What I'm doing is transferring ink to the front, which is face down on this ink. And So this eye is a little more, it's got big lashes too. I don't know, this is maybe like a brown Swiss or something. My uncles would not be impressed that I don't know what kind of cow this is. Yeah, before I get too carried away here, let's... Yeah, I'm going to be in about the right spot. Oh, and that's hard to reach. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've had my hand in the air the whole time. I haven't rested my hand on the 
paper in the back of the paper at all. So if I rest my hand, it leaves a big smart big smudge too, right? So So I've got a bridge here and that lets me kind of reach out here in front and Transferring ink, I'm not pressing very hard all of a sudden. Um, so I'm transferring ink, but I'm not really pushing hard enough to transfer much. There we are. Huh. It's got kind of a black nose. And it's We'll do some more with transfer more in a little bit here. Uh, let's see, this must be her tongue. And a couple teeth. And one tooth. And a bottom lip. That is pretty dark. Kind of fuzzy too, so. Well, I got that bridge out, now I'm liking it. I'm kind of used to just drawing with my hand in the air. Probably get spoiled now. Uh, see if we can. And. Alrighty. Get rid of that bridge. I'm going to. Draw a line right here. We don't want a whole lot going on out here. Line of trees. A uh, little texture down in here. Just suggests that we have some grass in the foreground. And that that grass goes back a ways. And that we have a... Eh, we don't need anything in that sky. We do need to transfer some... Uh, I think I need to do this even. Okay. Now, mostly, I'm going to transfer shadows in here by just touching it with my finger. Okay. 
got to kind of, I can see where I was with the pen. I have to just remember where I have been with my finger or my thumb. Push really hard here. And maybe just a and the line up here, just the heel of my hand. Uh, I think I want my bridge back. Getting spoiled. I knew that would happen. Add some shadows to these trees. There we are. Ha! Boy, that bridge is nice. Let's take a peek, see what we've done. You don't really know until you till you flip it over and see what has transferred, what has not. I think we're okay. Let's get the ink out of here and put a little watercolor paint on. There she is. Uh, like I said, I was looking at a photograph. I can show you that photograph and put this over here. And do I have room for that photograph here? Yeah, I'm gonna move that bridge. So, here's what I was looking at. You can see that it is backwards now. So when I paint it, I'm gonna have to think that left is right and right is left. And um, the other thing I'm going to do is put a board underneath there in case I want to tip it one way or another. I think I'll start by painting the cow though. Uh, let's start down here. We'll come back and add a little more to that. A little shadow to that with some purple probably. But for now that works. Uh-huh, so, so I've got a lot of the structure in that I transferred when I did the structure, the dark and light structure. I've got a lot of the darks and lights already in what's called the value structure. Um, so I'm looking at this ear. And this is the dark side of the head, the shadowed side. And we'll come back and put more shadows in it later. Probably with some purple. When we add purple to the nose, we'll do a little purple on the... Now the light side. And the curly side, I don't know what she's got going there, little curls. So we're just keeping this pretty light. I think I can get a bigger brush out.
Get a bigger brush out, and this is all pretty dark back in here. And I'm going to tip that this way. Let that paint kind of run downhill. Not only that, but I get to see it right side up this way, which is kind of nice. Drew it sideways, and I've been painting it sideways too. So it's kind of nice to turn it this way, see what I've actually done. Okay, I'm going to let that dry just a touch. While that dries, I'm going to make you look at it upside down for a little bit. <laughs> no extra charge. And again, I'm going to let gravity pull that paint down for me. I don't want that background to be too interesting, so I'm not doing much with it. We'll give the old girl some green grass though. Let's dip it around this way now. And I think I'm going to come back in here with I'm give those a little bit of blue. My trees. We'll call this one blue trees when they're all done. How's that? Yeah, we probably end up calling it Betsy or something. A little different blue than now a turquoise blue, and I'm tipping it away from those trees. Again, letting it run downhill. And let it run up into this corner. And then I'm going to tip it this way. Let everything run to your right downhill that way. And I think I could lay it down for this last little part because I'm going to let this side be a little darker. There we go. Rinse that brush. Let's give the purple a little stir. Let's look at shadows here in this ear. See how dark that purple is? Pretty dark. I don't want it quite that dark. So, shadows. 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 
Reminds me of a John Prine song, Shadows. We got a purple cow, this must be where you get. Blue is kind of was kind of my other shadow color choice, but I think I, I think that boat sailed when I painted the background blue. Let's see how much time I have left on the... I got seven minutes left on the video. <laughs> I went a little long earlier today, so now I'm paranoid. So I've got some yellow here. I'm going to go over those trees and over this grass. Touch it yellow. I think maybe I need a little bit, I need to do a little bit of work on the tip of her nose. And I'm going to do that with a color called Payne's Gray. Basically a black with a beautiful blue-violet undertone. So... Letting some of that purple I put in stay. But... Oh, this comes up in here a little more, doesn't it? Okay. Well, my blue trees aren't blue anymore. I put yellow on top of the blue, and yellow and blue make green, so... I'm going to sign them. Or her. And I'm going to pick up some of this purple, too. Uh... Um, we'll call her Bossy and sign it and date it 2020 and there's our cow. Hope you had fun watching. watching. I had a uh, fun playing around with her. Till next time.